Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2021 playthrough with the Ineos Grenadiers. Today it is time for the biggest stage yet. Now I know that first day's stage was quite momentous as we had a really good day. Bernal beat the main competitors by a lot of time. Gained a lot of time on the big lads Pogacher and the Rodgelik. You can see that he finished a minute and a half ahead of Pogacher and two and a half minutes ahead of Rodgelik. I think we've got Gagenhart to, to thank a lot for that. He really protected Bernal in the early stage. And I think we had a good strategy as well. Um, we got a lot in the tank and we generally had a good day. But today is going to be even tougher, as you'll see in just a second. But if you look at the general classification, Bernal takes the yellow jersey for, I think, the second time. So I, I think he did have it after stage number two, after he won that flat stage. But uh, as you can see, Pogacher now is a minute behind and Rojlik a further minute behind. The locks of Jacob Fuglsang. Um, is now four minutes behind. As you can see, Adam Yates in 11th place. We've got Kvatkovsky in 15th and Gagenhart in 19th. So four guys in the top 20. Um, it's not too bad at all. And obviously, the guys who went in that main breakaway in Thursday's episode, Demarchi, Velens and Kamna, are the top three in that uh, polka dot jersey. But let's see if we can gain some points back today. It's not guaranteed, though. Today is going to be a very tough day. I think everybody's going to be struggling. So everybody is in the same boat. It was a tough day yesterday. It's going to be an even tougher day today. So could you say it's damage limitation? I don't know. It all depends how the stage goes. There are so many uh, so many different, what's the word? Probabilities, I guess, of, of different things happening and so many um, situations that could arise. But as you can see, three first-class climbs. Looking at the stage, though, um, I think that the toughest one, I don't think that those first two climbs are going to be too taxing, purely because, if you look, they're not too long. Um, but that third climb is going to be tricky, and obviously that final climb looks a long one. So we have three climbs before that first fee. We've got to bear that in mind and just keep our energy um, all checked out. But like I, said, I don't think the first half of the stage is going to be too bad. Um, it's going to be that second half that we make sure that we need to manage, particularly um, before we potentially win the stage. But as you can see, we can use a lot of our energy today, albeit we might not have too much of it left, because after today we have a rest day and then a flat stage to come. So we haven't got too much concern about that, but obviously Bernal is the main man now. I think we've a bit of a shock, really, that Garant Thomas isn't up there. He doesn't seem, for one reason or another, to be the man that he was. So that is going to make things a little bit trickier for us, I have to say as having a second option, but Adam Yates and Kovatkovsky aren't doing a bad job. But ultimately, that last stage really rocked things, didn't it, with Bernal finishing a long way ahead. If we could do the same today, it'd be absolutely excellent. But it's good to have 60 seconds, all right, 59 seconds on Pogacar if you want to be pedantic about it. But we've got a good, we've definitely got a good chance today. I don't think there's going to be any breakaways today, but certainly from us. I know there will be a breakaway, but not from us today. I just don't think we can risk losing the energy. So I've got a funny feeling that a lot of our guys are going to be on low amounts of energy. And when we get to this screen, it might just confirm it. Let's just have a quick butchers when we get there. It shouldn't be uh, too longer than a few seconds. If it is, we're going to skip forward. That's actually quite a surprise that Bernal is still in very, very good shape. That's 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 really good to see, actually. Another chance to gain today. No surprise that Gagenhart's in bad nick, um, and so is Yates. So we're going to probably, probably going to lean on Kovatkoski today to help us out. But you can see Garant Thomas... Just uh, something wrong with him, massively. Um, as you can see, his rating's gone down quite significantly. He's only the sixth best in, well, in fact, the yeah, the sixth best in the team. So something not quite right there for Garant Thomas. And I know that somebody did put in the comments, and that leads me to say thank you very much for you guys posting your recommendations, etc., in the comments. It certainly does help. It really does. But I do regret not taking Carapaz now because I thought that we'd have Garant Thomas as that backup. Um, Carapaz might have been the man that we needed because we have got Yates and Kovatkovsky but those guys aren't what you would call specialist mountain riders which makes things a little bit trickier but um, Bernal's in good condition for today which means we could just gain a little bit more time which is very very promising but I don't think there'll be particularly many highlights until we get to that uh, first premier class climb so I'll see you guys when we get there well, there's a very large early breakaway of 17 men, 21 now, so nobody really in there for the general classification, so no concern. As you can see, the, the peloton is a long, long way back. It's going to be an interesting stage, um, but just for the start, the first few climbs, just going to keep an eye on our energy. I don't think we should have any problem, but this I'll tell you what, this breakaway is pulling away by a lot. It could start to become a little bit of a concern, but obviously none of those guys are in with a chance for the the general classification, but it's still an interesting thing to, to take note of. You never know what might happen 
Um, you would expect, you know, one of Bernal Pogacar or Rogelik to walk away with this, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's funny how these things can change. So we are approaching the first Premier Class climb of the day. You can see the breakaway is completely gone. That's the biggest gap I've ever seen when playing this game. Uh, but I think there's a potential chance. We'll see how it goes um, and what we think. There might be a potential chance just to try and get a little bit of a gap. Because obviously, I know we've got these guys at the front, but they're not going to be a worry for the general classifications. We run someone over in the middle of the road there. But, uh, you know, I think that there's a potential chance to pull away slightly on this climb. So we'll just keep an eye on it. We'll see how we go. And if there's a potential chance, we will go for it. We've got plenty of energy in the bank. We'll have a lot of energy when we come down that mountain pass. So it's a potential chance, actually, to have a good go at this. Okay, so we are trying something here fairly early into this climb. We've used Kovatkovsky to come with us for a short burst here. And hopefully it'll be something that works out. Just get Kovatkovsky to... Just protect us then now, after that short burst. But we've gained a few seconds on the rest of the guys. We just want to get a little bit of a gap. We want to rock this peloton. Because that, that that's the last thing we'd want. We don't really want the peloton staying with us today. We want um, to get a little bit of a break with these main guys. Do exactly what we did um, in yesterday's stage. Or sorry, first day stage. Just try and rock the boat a little bit. So we're just getting Kovatkovsky to protect us here. Just make sure he's okay. So we will actually ride with Kovatkovsky here. Just to make sure he's not using too much energy up. Because it is still very early on. Yes, we want to try and attack a little bit. But at the same time, we don't want to be stupid and use too much of our energy. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the main guys have come with us. We've got uh, Grant Thomas has actually joined this group, which is pleasant to see. After slagging him off earlier, Pogashare. Um, Rogelik's a little bit behind, there's no doubt that he'll probably catch up. Garant Thomas is coming to protect, it seems, but Garant Sleem's a little bit knackered, so we'll just get him to persist without limit for the moment. Um, we're looking pretty good, I have to say, and we'll put maybe a bit of a push in before the end of this climb. But that was what we needed, I think, to just split the peloton up. <laughs> well, that all ended in vain a little bit, really. Didn't work at all. Uh, the peloton have come back to us, so we're not too fussed, you know, we're just going to stick here now. We're not going to use any more of our energy up. But it hasn't really been too much of a taxing climb in the end, so we haven't had to use any of our gel. Uh, we will just go on board with Ganna, just to make sure he's okay. He's right at the front of this group, that's why he's maybe using a little bit more energy than the rest. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. You can see that the groups are starting to break up again a little bit. And I think they will, you know, before, before the end of this. I wouldn't be too surprised. I'll just turn off the taps a little bit here with Ganna. But we all know that We'll get this energy back after this climb, so it's not going to be too taxing. Um, which leads me to fancy going for a bit of a push on this last kilometre, depending on where Bernal is placed. Hmm, it's tempting. It is tempting. We're always looking for chances to gain time. Is this the right time? We've got a lot of energy, so I feel like it might be. Ganner is starting to struggle, so we'll just get into position without limit. There's no need for him to do the leg work as such. Uh, we'll get Kovatkovsky to come with us. And we're going to have a bit of a push on this last kilometre here. Obviously not using too much of our energy up. I think Kovatkoski is going to struggle to come with us here. Which is a little bit of a shame. Outside the time limit. Wow. Everybody's outside the time limit at the moment. That's fascinating. <laughs> that is absolutely fascinating. Um... I can't see it making much of a difference, because obviously things are going to change as we um, come through this. But it just doesn't seem that anything is quite working. Maybe we're being a little bit too attacking here. I don't know. Um, it is tricky. You know, I think after what happened in yesterday's... Well, it was yesterday's stage, effectively. It is so easy to try and get aggressive and try and see when we can pull the pin and be proactive. But I guess sometimes it doesn't hurt just to stay in that group, so... You know, maybe we're being a little bit too aggressive here and, and trying to pull off what we did yesterday and we're maybe still a little bit too far out. But it's not going to be too taxing our, our energy at this point. You can see we haven't used any of our feed with our main guys. So there's no problem there. So, you know, I'm quite happy with this, how the way this is going at the moment. No, no negatives to take, at least. So here's the start of the big climb before we get our feed. Crucially, everybody, I know I said our main guys, but everybody has got all their feed left, which is good news. It really is. Crastro Viejo is already knackered, so probably just get into position without limit at this point. 
Yeah, that's no problem at all. But it, it is it is inevitable that this group will break up a little bit during this. Who's that that's pushing really hard at the front? Grant Thomas, we don't need him to be setting the pace. There's no need for him to be setting too much pace at all. But this is definitely a chance. You know, it, I, I think if the last one wasn't, this is most certainly a chance to gain some time. I can't believe everybody's outside the time. It'd be funny if it finished like this and all of our team was out of the Tour de France. Be a pretty swift end to this series. But as you can see, the breakaway has got a big lead. Um, it's fair to say, I'm, you know, I'm not being sarcastic here, but I would, would be surprised if we caught up to them uh, by the end of the stage. I really would. Unless they've just exerted too much energy. But you would think that those guys, unless there is anybody that is potentially damned, uh, you know, somebody is as snuck in there that we're not too sure about. No big names highlighting themselves, although the yellow jersey is undoubtedly going to change today. We know that. Uh, we know that much. Um, but we're going to get Kavakoski to protect us, as we have done throughout. And I would like to go for this here, because I think there is an opportunity before we have our first feed. Obviously, we can use all of our energy. You know, we're, I just think we're, we're taking it easy, and everybody is. So I think it wouldn't do any harm just to try and break up that group. We've tried a few times. If we keep trying to no avail, then it's just damaging for our energy. But I think this might be a chance. So let's see uh, how we go. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Right, here we go. Is this the time? I'm not sure. We've asked Kavak Koski to attack. We're in behind him. Are we going to rock the peloton? Let's see. I don't know. Just need to make sure Kovatkovsky's not in uh, bad nick, so we'll get just getting to protect us now. Got a little bit of a cushion. Hopefully still set a decent pace. Yep, that's okay. And hopefully this will rock the peloton. We've got a small gap at the moment. It is tricky when you've got a peloton of that size. It is tough to kind of um, really put into perspective those time gaps. But this is good stuff. Uh, we're not going at too quick a pace. That's absolutely fine from Mikhail Kovatkovsky for the moment because he's not going to use any red energy. Um, but you know what? I feel like there is scope for a little bit more here. So let's let's push again. Let's put another push in with Kovatkovsky. Let's see how we go. Just another small push. Not to use... That's it. That will do. That's enough. That is enough. That's absolutely fine. And you know what? I think we can... I, I don't really think we need to, but at the same time, might as well, because we've got it. We'll get Kovatkovsky to use all his red gel. We'll do the same for a few of our guys that are struggling. Okay. Yep, Kovatkovsky's going to consume that feed. So we're looking good here. It is a small gap, but it has broken up the pallet. And you can see there's a few small groups. I mean, we're in group number 19 at the moment, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. Can't believe we're, we're half an hour behind. Goodness me. But, you know, it doesn't really matter about those guys in front. It's all about what happens at the end of the stage compared to the likes of Pogacar and Rochley. But this is good stuff from Kovatkovsky. Um, we're going to try and put one more push in before the line. Let's see how this goes. Just short bursts of attacks just to gain a few seconds on those behind. This is good stuff from Kovatkovsky. He's doing us a real job. He's been a real warrior for us here. really is. And Pogacar, you know, they're not too far back. Pogacar in the group with uh, Gagenhart, Yates and Thomas. So I'm more than happy to see those guys in there. Yep, yeah, try and, uh, no, just stick to the worlds in front. Because we, you can be a little bit too stupid with these things sometimes, whereby you go for it um, with, with all groups, which effectively means that you pulling away doesn't make much of a difference, if that makes sense. But as you can see, the... Um, the pace has dropped now, so the guys behind have caught up, but, you know, it's only a group of 18 now, so that is going to be crucial. Um, Kovatkovsky, do we put a final attack in with him? I think we, we do. You know, they have caught up, but can we catch them napping? We'll see. It's going to have to be a very short attack, this one. Yeah, Kovatkovsky is struggling now, so... I'm happy to take control of him before we get to the line, just to make sure he doesn't blow up, because he's going to be crucial for us today. And it's going to be no problem that uh, he's out of red gel, so we'll get it on this descent. Oh, that's an interesting turn of events. Pogacar, um, it, it's just tough to know. It, it, it'd get a bit wary <laughs> with these climbs, um, that you're losing too much time, or you've, you've, you've lost it. But no, it's absolutely fine there. So, 
over this climb. I think we've definitely been very proactive there and it's worked. It really has. It really has worked for us. So into the second half of the stage, 18 of us in this group. The main protagonists, as you can see, Rodgelik, a few of his team members, um, Fuglesang, Pogashare. So yeah, it's going to get interesting to the second half of this stage as we predicted. So another small climb to come now. We're not going to force the issue, I don't think, on this one. I don't think there's any necessity to at this point. But we are going to force the issue on that final climb. I don't know why Gagenhart and Dennis are going for it. I don't think there's any need for that. But yep, yeah, they've caught back up with the group. Don't want to be putting too much pace in. We want to make sure that you know we're all okay at this point. But this is interesting. I was expecting it to be more drawn out. <laughs> I know it's drawn out. There's half an hour between us and the leaders. But you know what I mean? I was expecting this to be more drawn out. And that there wasn't going to be so many of us here. It's really all going to come down to that final climb. And I think that maybe the... The structure of the st stage has changed for us purely because of that lead group having such a lead. You know, there's, there's no appetite for anybody to go for it, really. But, it, you know, it's going to be an interesting thing. It's going to be an interesting thing. It certainly is. So we'll see how we go. Um, it's a long final climb, I understand. So that will be uh, really crucial. So brace yourself. We're nearly at the top of that final climb. Quite incredible, really. 30 kilometres to go. This is going to be by far the toughest climb yet. And I think that if this group wasn't broke up now, I wouldn't give it too long before it starts to break up. And it's key that our main protagonist, Banal, is part of it. We'd like Kovatkovsky to be there to help us. I don't think anybody else is going to be in a position to help today. But equally, everyone's looking pretty good, apart from Castro Viejo, who seems to be leading the relay. So, not too concerned about him at this point, really. We're, we're okay as we are. But we are nearly at the, the, uh, the bottom of the climb. And we'll have to look at what goes on. Whether we're proactive or reactive, we'll have to see. It's not necessarily the toughest climb in the world, this, in terms of its ascent percentage, the terms of the gradient, but it's just the length of the climb. So this group is going to start to break up pretty soon. I am fairly confident in saying that it's just going to be Bernal and Kovatkovsky from our team there at the end. Everybody else is going to struggle fairly quickly. Obviously, we have got our feeds to utilise, and there is a high pace being set, which I think is going to draw things out even more, which makes it just essential that we carry on, and just to highlight how far the other guys are in front, that orange line you can see, just above the uh, the gradient uh, that the, the showing the, the climb, you know, they're nearly at the end of it, so it's incredible, really, um, and there are going to be some guys, I would guess, booted off because of the time gap, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, we don't have Kovacovsky taking too high a pace, well, you might have noticed an abrupt break there, and that wasn't the best time for the postman to arrive. Could have arrived at any point in the stage, but no, he has to arrive now. Still a long time to go in this climb. I can't remember where I was big enough us going for it. I can't remember <laughs> particularly. Um, but, yeah, still a long way to go with this climb. I feel like it actually might be decided a little bit later on. But it's just all about we don't want to miss the boat, really. We don't want to lose any time to our competitors. So we've just got to keep an eye on it. Well, the plan here is to go for it as the road gets a little bit steeper. We've got a bit of a flat area now, which is quite nice. But we're going to try and go for it when that road gets a little bit steeper. Um, you can see Kovatkovsky starting to struggle a little bit. Gagenhart is massively starting to struggle. So he might need his uh, blue feed at this point. And we'll give Kovatkovsky about half of it. It is a pity there isn't an option necessarily to give um, your rider maybe half a feed. But we can stick back with the pace now. And it's just making sure we go at the right time. Um, Bernal's absolutely fine. We have got, like I say, this flat area now. So, you know, we might be able to not lose too much time. As you can see, you know, the top guys have made it to the top of the ascent. So, we've just got to make sure we don't lose any time here. As I say, we're going to plan to go for it around about the start of this uh, ascent. I don't really think um, any other guys are going to have what it takes. Potentially Adam Yates, I don't know. But, you know, everyone's got a full feed. But equally, we don't want to use it too soon. That's the danger. That we blow up uh, before the top of the climb. So, we're nearly there at that moment. We've got a lot of our guys up here, actually, which is nice to see. So, we've got Dennis, Thomas, and then that's Kovatkovsky just ahead. I don't know why they're looking to set the pace. Because they're only damaging their energy. But, I think this is the time we said we we're going to go. Um going to have to get everybody to take their full feed at this point, purely because we won't be able to control them um, after this, so I can only really control Bernal, and this is the time we're going to push here, we really are going to start to push, 
just to try and create a gap. And he's going to go it alone. Yep, there is movement behind us. Pogacher is coming. This is no surprise. Going to try and persist with this sort of pace. We have got a full feed left, of course. We know that. And we'll look to use that fairly soon. So there's nine of us in this group. Gagenhart. Oh, no, that's actually the group behind. Well, that's good to see. So Benali's all by himself at the moment. Can afford to use a little bit of that feed. This is where it gets really tough. But crucially, Benal is gaining time again. This is looking good. But is it too soon? We don't know. Pogacher is pushing with Van Aert. Rochlik's a little bit further behind. Is this going to be another good day? This is the last of the really tough bit. Let's see if we can make the most of this. Tough gradient. Looks like Pogacher has gone alone. He's around 30 seconds back now. This is the last push. The last push of the really tough bit. You can see there's five Ks to go. And now we can probably start to just cool it off a little bit. Regain some of our energy. You can see Pogacher is 40 seconds back. Rodgelik um, is fairly close to that. All of our guys are in that main group. So we're just going to... Um, I think probably just ensure a minimum of tempo here. Not exert too much. They've all got their red energy fairly high, so that's looking good. So Bernal, 40 seconds ahead here. Do we have a bit of a descent before the end? We don't, so we've just got to make sure we manage this energy. We might have gone a little bit too aggressive. I don't know. We'll see. But as long as we don't finish behind Pogacar and Roger League, which, is, which was exactly the aim. That's the main thing here, but we're looking pretty good. Regaining our energy now. Don't want to use any of that feed... Um, before we're forced to. Again, we can put a bit of a push in at the end if we need to. Pogacher seems to have come with De Klerk. No, it's not De Klerk because he's just packed De Klerk. Just passed De Klerk, not packed him. It's not FIFA. But this looks pretty good for us. Pogacher, okay, maybe gaining a little bit of time. But I would have definitely took circa 30 seconds at the start of the stage. Most certainly. So, just pick up the pace just a little bit here. No fret of us losing our... Red energy, but it has been a good stage. Looks like Pogacem might just catch up before the end. But most of our guys are fairly competitive in there. Uh, unfortunately, Kovatkovsky, Gagenhart, Grant Thomas falling behind a little bit. Oh, don't want to push that much. Calm down. You can see the guys at the front have finished, though. So I was definitely right in saying that we wouldn't catch up before the end of the stage. I think we put a bit more of a push in. You can see Pogacem just behind there. As I say, I have no problem with finishing with Pogacem. As long as he didn't lose time to him today. I think we can afford to put a bit more of a push in. It's not going to hurt, hurt us, I don't think, at this point. Just four kilometres to go before that rest day. That's all we've got to think of here. Coming up to the end of the climb. Unfortunately, no polka dot jersey points for us today. But I can't say I'm going to be too fussed about that. Right, we'll take the remainder of our blue feed here. And we'll just try and dictate the pace a little bit. Try and maybe push a little bit. I mean, Pogacar is 20, nearly 30 seconds behind now. And Rodgelik is uh, a minute behind. So it's been a bad day for him. Obviously, we know we've still got three Ks left. Just got to manage the energy so we don't blow up at the end. That's crucial. But we equally know it's a good chance. We know it's a good chance to gain. It's not the most fancy of ends to the stage. It's not going to be a you know race to the end particularly. But it's going to be a good day for us once again. At the moment, we're going to gain circa 45 seconds on Pogacar. And it looks like we're going to gain over a minute on Rochley. Because that's going to be a big, big day for us. Adam Yates just in behind. Get the guys to take their red feed now. Well, Kovatkovsky anyway. Because he is struggling a little bit. And we are at the top of that big climb. No, I don't think we... You know, we haven't got any more red energy. So that's fine. I'll try and just push the boat out a little bit here. Before the end, try and gain as much time as possible. We're at the one kilometre line. This is going to be a good day for Bernal. It really is. Probably going to run out of energy before the end, but that's not really a problem. Half kilometre to go. Let's push. We might blow up, but you know what? It's going to be a damn sight better 
than anything else. And it's an excellent day for Banal as he gains a lot of time. Just blows up on the line. So perfectly managed there. Um, do we potentially try and uh, get some of our guys to the end a little bit quicker? No, I think that we're okay as we are. But what a good stage that was for Banal. Um, he's not going to retain the yellow jersey, of course. That's going to go to somebody else now. But the two main protagonists, Pogacar and Rodgerleek, we've gained time on once again. But we've got a rest day um, after this. So we'll be back with our focus after this, at least tomorrow, on the um, green jersey. With Kovatkovsky, Yates, etc. I think it's going to be more Yates, isn't it, for that? But crucially, I, well, not crucially, but ultimately, I don't think that we're not necessarily aiming for that anymore. I think that we're just too far behind in that battle. Oh, but now going through some grass there. That's interesting. But let's see who won the stage. Don't particularly know. It was a, an interesting stage, a very interesting stage. The breakaway won by an absolute huge amount. Don't know what's going on here. And thank God the game hasn't crashed. That's all I'm saying. Um, but Velens takes the yellow jersey. Van der Poel still takes the points classification. I mean, all of these guys, it's not a surprise that pretty much all of these classifications have changed at this point. I don't think it's going to be crucial because, you know, they're going to be completely knackered after that. And they will lose time. There's plenty of mounting stages to come, so they will lose that time. It's just all important where we are with our delta compared to Pogacar and Rodgley. Can we gain time on that today? It's only a 20th place, which you might be disappointed at, but you know what? You know, we are effectively a net first, which we were anyway. You can see Pogacar a minute and six behind, Rodgley a minute and 40 behind. You know, if you look at where those guys finished, the likes of Yates, I mean, even Dennis, to be honest. Dennis had a very good day. Um, Yates had a competitive day. Competitive day as well for Gagenhart um, and Kovatkovsky. You can't complain at that too much. Anybody finishing outside the time limit? Doesn't look like it. Ah, there we go. A few guys... Um, we're over the time limit at the end there, which is a shame for them. But if you look at the general classification after this, Bernal moves down to sixth. But if you look at that, we are now two minutes ahead of Bogashev and a full three and a half minutes ahead of Rojlik. That could just prove crucial. Really could. That's uh, great stuff. Another one survived there. I mean, we, might, we might not be in it for this best climber classification because those guys are a long way in front. You never know. But a very good day for us nonetheless. We finish top of the main riders. And luckily, it's a rest day to come. So we can have a nice chill. After a taxing day in the mountains. And this is just a simple flat stage to get us back into it. And uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow. That'll be live on the channel on Sunday. And we'll be doing the flat stage, which I can't see take any more than six or seven minutes, to be honest. And then we will play um, the next mountain stage in the same episode. So it's really starting to hot up now. We're pretty much in that mid-stage um, of the Tour de France. Got that flat stage and then a big, big mountain stage to come in tomorrow's episode. Obviously trying to do four of these a week. So it's Saturday today and another one will come out tomorrow at the same time. But a very positive day. We've gained more ground on Pogacar and Rochely. Of course, it be crucial because... However optimistic you want to be, there's going to be at least one stage where we lose a little bit of time. So it's just good to have that cushion. And then it will certainly help um, on stage number 20 where Bernal isn't the best time trialist in the world. But we've got a very nice gap at this point. Let's see um, how we're going to be after tomorrow's episode. But a very good very good day for us. A change in the top of the general classification, but fortunately not one that we're too fussed about. But an interesting episode nonetheless. And if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Comment your thoughts below and subscribe for regular Tour de France content. Thank you very much for your company today, folks. I've been TIJ Gaming, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next mountain stage. Goodbye for now.